हेलो व्यूअर्स आई रुचि महाजन वेलकम यू ऑल टू आर शो करियर किंग सो एज यू ऑल नो दैट आर शो एम्फोसाइज ऑन यंगस्टर्स करियर सो वी ऑलवेज इन्वाइट एन एक्सपर्ट इन वेरियस फील्ड्स टू डिस्कस अबाउट यंगस्टर्स करियर्स सो टूडे वी आर हैविंग मिसिज खेरा अमंग अस फॉर डिस्कसिंग द सेम शी इज़ एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन श्री गुरु हरकृष्ण कॉलेज ऑफ मैनेजमेंट एंड टेक्नोलॉजी बहादुरगढ़ पटियाला हेलो मैम अ वेरी वार्म वेलकम टू यू इन आर शो सो लेट्स बिगिन विद टूडेज कन्वर्जेशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वॉन्ट आस्क यू अबाउट यूर कॉलेज दैट टू विच यूनिवर्सिटी इट हैज़ बीन एफिलिएटेड एंड वट कोर्सेज इट प्रोवाइड्स आर कॉलेज श्री गुरु हरकृष्ण कॉलेज ऑफ मैनेजमेंट एंड टेक्नोलॉजी इज रनिंग सक्सेसफुली सिंस लास्ट फिफ्टीन ईयर्स throughout its inception we have always emphasized on providing quality education to our students our students have bagged top university positions always particularly mca students all our courses are affiliated to punjabi university they are duly approved degrees by aicte and our college is one of the most oldest and renowned institutions of patiala we offer undergraduate as well as postgraduate courses in undergraduate category we have two streams like one is for management and another is for computer science for management students we have the option of bba and bcom and for computer science students we have bca and bcmca dual degree integrated course and for postgraduate category we have mcom for management students and for computer science students we have a lot of options we have mca we have msait msait literal entry pgdca and so on Ma'am, these days uh, it has been observed that uh, after plus two, mostly students have to face a very critical period. Uh, like they get a bit confused uh, that to which course they should go for, as they are having so many options in front of them. So, ma'am, according to you, uh, on what basis they should go for a particular course? Actually, this course selection is a very critical phase, which should be handled with utmost care. People generally in India do not follow a very systematic approach for selecting a particular course. earlier we used to have just a few number of courses and uh, there were entrance test for all the courses those entrance test used to measure whether this particular student is eligible for this particular course or not okay. but nowadays if anybody wants to do engineering there are a lot of seats if anybody wants to be do mba or mca or any course you name it there are so many seats available students can just go and uh, fetch that degree so these thing approaches are very unprofessional for selecting a particular course neither a student should see what all his friends are doing nor he should uh, be under the influence of false advertisements nor there should be any pressure from the family or from the parents that th you should go for this particular course basically the course selection should come from within you should see the interest of the student and second the scope of that particular field So, ma'am, once a student uh, has decided for a particular course, then uh, on what basis uh, he should now select for a particular uh, college uh, to join for pursuing a particular course? This is a very good question, Ruchi. As college selection has become very critical these days, because the number of colleges have increased too much. Yeah. Today, in every who can corner of the city, we can find a new college. for deciding about a particular college what i feel the students must talk to the passed out students the passed out students can give a first hand honest experience feedback about the particular college how the studies are there how the teachers are there and yeah. so on so basically the first thing is students they should talk about the past students they can uh, get in touch with them through social networking sites or they can avail the university's website for the same they can check out their previous results and secondly the teachers the teachers are the backbone of a college in our college like i am a member of uh, this uh, selection committee so okay. we never go for like referral referral cases we just select and hire the best persons in a totally honest manner and we make sure that the syllabus is completed and everything the practicals are taken care of so teachers are very important the second thing is the results okay our results our students have secured gold medals from the university and it's not just one or two students who secured well it is always uh, all the students 100% passing percentage is there and all the students fairly attain good marks just as an example i want to quote something here like yeah. once nokia came near patiala for a recruitment drive 
and our students four students out of my class they just went out of the class and they said okay today is the test so we'll appear for it and uh, interestingly all the top four students were the girls of our college and they haven't even prepared well so why they secured such a good result is because of the clarity of the concepts yeah. which has been from the very beginning so basically all these things a student must take care of only then he or she must decide about a particular college if a new big building is being constructed in your area you shouldn't rush to do that first do the feedback check talk to the students see the past results if it is an established old college reputed college without any conflicts and controversies only then the student should opt for a particular college so ma'am as you are an expert in this computer science field so according to you uh, what course or what option should be the best one for a student uh, who want to make his lifelong career in this computer field yeah actually uh, there are many variations available there are many options where in which a student can study computer science after plus 2 for example he can have uh, he or she can go for ba with computer as an add on subject or one can go for bsc with computer as an add on subject but here the main emphasis is not given on the computer science yeah. so for a student who has decided that throughout my life i am want to do computer science he or she must go for bca or computer engineering or the best option which is available today is bca mca dual course it is also known as integrated mca and our college is the first college in patiala which is starting this course and it is affiliated to punjabi university it has multiple benefits the first and the obvious benefit is the saving of one year if a student does bca and then he does mca then it takes 6 years but if he first does bca and mca together like in dual integrated course then this complete package is of 5 years okay and there is also a very good option that if after bca you decide about changing your line or you want to go abroad or something you don't want to disc want to continue about uh, integrated mca then you can leave after 3 years then you will get a full fledged bca degree the second advantage is regarding the redundancy of the subjects the which i mean there are many subjects which are repeated in bca and mca both so basically it is a wastage of time for the student the student has to study the same subjects in bca as well as in mca but in this dual degree course which is will, which will be like 9 uh, to 8 semesters theory semesters will be there so all the subjects are different all the subjects are taken to an advanced level with every ongoing semester mm -hmm. so the thorough understanding of the concepts will be only in this field a person who has decided after plus 2 ki i will be doing computer science throughout my life i'll be pursuing this field he or she must join this course without any doubt in his mind this is the best course so ma'am is there any criteria that um, a student from a particular stream should join this course or uh, any student from any stream can join this dual degree integrated course well actually the exact uh, eligibility criteria the university has to decide yet basically for doing mca the criteria is you should have passed uh, statistics or maths at the plus 2 level yeah. or it should be as one of the subjects in your graduation okay. so basically for this basically the student at any stream can join this integrated course as for now but uh, university norms can change and uh, we need to adopt by the latest norms so we'll have to wait for that okay okay so ma'am uh, these days uh, we see that uh, many universities are there which are offering uh, part time uh, education or distance courses uh, which not only have a uh, uh, lesser free structure but also uh, give us an uh, opportunity to uh, go for a particular job side by side so ma'am according to you is it a better idea to go for distance education rather than uh, regular one no doubt distance education has advantages like it saves money and secondly it uh, gives us an opportunity of earn while you learn but basically these two advantages are not uh, a big yes for the computer science field a computer science is a totally technical subject which requires hours of working in the lab a student needs to work a student needs to implement his applications and programs in the lab and wherever he or she is stuck with an error there needs to be the teacher at that very point of time right if we are doing a, a theoretical course like we are studying geography history or any theory subjects 
then distance education is okay because you can get the notes you can give the exams it is fine but in computer science we require practical knowledge so distance education in this field is not a very appropriate thing and secondly what we talk about that it saves money because fees is less but this saving is not at all a wise idea because after saving for three years you will not get any good job afterwards because today regular students who have done regular degrees they are in abundance if after distance education you are not able to get a good job then what is the fun of studying yeah so according to me this is not at all a good option so ma'am as regular education is a bit expensive one so is there any financial help that is given to the students of your college yes there is there is a lot of help available for the students who are really interested in pursuing higher education this help is provided by the central government of india as well as uh, we have some help from our management committee of our college we have various types of scholarships first of all the students of bc category and sc category their education is totally free they do not even have to spend a single penny for earning an mca degree or a bca degree all their fee is provided by the central government apart from that for we have minority comeins scholarship which is provided by central government for higher education like students which are doing mca or mba they can avail that facility so many students in our college have received checks spread like ranging from 30000 to 50000 which will cover their tuition fee as well as other expenses of hostel etc so apart from moma we have third option which is called the post matric scholarship option which is available for the undergraduate students these three scholarship schemes are given by the central government apart from that our management also have delhi sikh gurdwara prabandhak committee so with they have tie ups with them so they also provide scholarships for the students who are having meritorious result and uh, who require financial support so in this way we can have financial help for the needy students as well as the students who are intelligent enough in their field ma'am is there any international exposure that is being provided to the students of your college Yes uh, we have uh, we provide uh, international exposure to our students we have signed a MOU memorandum of understanding with the uh, Concordia University it is in Wisconsin USA it is one of the oldest and reputed universities of uh, USA we have a faculty exchange as well as student exchange program with that university a batch of 10 students visited uh, America for around 15 days earlier they were all doing MC so with that we can send our students easily to that university they can have an exposure and they can feel like what all education is provided in their university so we help our students in that manner okay so ma'am now at last will you please like to give any suggestions for our students i will really like to suggest them because basically at this stage plus 2 after plus 2 they are at a very crucial stage of life whatever a student will be doing for the next 5 years all his future life is dependent on that so a student must carefully select a particular course and a particular college and if a student is really interested in studies and in work for working hard and obtaining good results conceptual knowledge then he or she is welcome to shri guru harkrishan college of management and technology as we promise quality education if you are looking for really serious business in studies then you are most welcome to our college Thanks Kara ma'am for coming to our show and benefiting our viewers with your august guidance. We are very sure that uh, today our viewers has uh, have got uh, its benefit. Uh, thanks viewers for watching the show. In case of any queries, please feel free to contact on the numbers displayed on the screen. Have a nice time ahead. Good day.